Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will talk about a particular use case in Power Query. If you have worked on Power Query in Excel or Power BI, you must have understood the basic features of it. But in this video, I would like to tell you about the differences between cross tab and flat file. For example, if you have some data in cross tab, then how to work on that particular data. If you have flat file, it is very easy for you to understand and execute or you can plan out things how to create the outcome. So for example, if I take this particular input, this is my input. Uh, so there is one feedback form which was floated to various employees of different different organizations. Out of them, there are total 500 employees for which there are the responses for each questions total there are 20 questions for which each and every employee has given the answer in strongly agree or agree or neutral or disagree or strongly agree there are five outcomes right so accordingly there are various records but if you see here first column is name second is region third is domain but then our, from fourth column, we have responses for each questions. So you can see questions are coming in the column headers. So that means my table is not flat. Flat means if I have all the responses, all the questions in the column itself, right? So for example, if I go to flat table, this is how flat table looks like name, then region, then domain, and then questions. So for each question, I have the responses. So logically, what is the difference between cross table and flat table? So if I take only two records or four records, then this is my cross table. So for example, if you read or try to read one particular record. So this record is Smith disagree, strongly agree. This doesn't make sense, right? So if any one particular record doesn't make sense, that is not flat file. So for example, if I talk about this table, if I read any one particular record, for example, this record, Johnson, my work gives me the sense of accomplishment, disagree. This makes sense because from this record, I can understand that Johnson for this particular question, he disagree, right? But from this particular record, I can't understand Johnson disagree, disagree for what he disagrees. Right. So this is my cross tab when I have the questions in the column headers, like one particular column is not in that column. For example, these two questions are coming in the column itself. Right. And definitely for each name, I will have multiple records. So if there are two questions, then I'll have Smith twice. If I have 20 questions, like in this particular file, then I will have 20 Smiths. So if I uh, select flat file and if I select only Smith these records should be total 20 right so this is the difference between cross tab and flat table and we cannot work with cross tab so if you want to analyze anything so ultimately we want this table where we want all the responses what is my percentage of all the responses collected and uh, if i have to filter particular domain or particular region then what how my values will change right so this is what we want so ultimately what we will be learning we will be learning power query we will be learning cross tab flat file we will learn how to reshape the data and then we will be working on unpivoting the columns, then understanding the concept of transpose, pivot table and slicers, and finally, small concept of conditional formatting. So now if we go back to cross tab versus flat table, for example, if you say this is my cross tab and I can directly right click and copy. And if I paste it over here, and paste with special option of transpose right so what my answer will look like so what this has done is all the column headers have come 
towards the row headers and row headers have become the column headers so so it is like transpose what my rows were uh, have become the columns and the columns have become the rows so this is what transpose looks like but this won't give us the solution again if we have uh, the questions in the rows now we have uh, the names of the employee in the column headers so ultimately again we are on the step one so so to overcome this we have to use power query there is no other option so now if i go to the data set i will select the the table then i will go to the data and select from table range ultimately this will redirect me to the power query editor right now we have all the columns now in this select all the columns which are showing me the questions from here select shift and end go till the end so all the columns are selected now what you have to do so i have to select transform from here i have to select unpivot column what unpivot columns does is it's it translate all but the currently unselected columns into attribute value pairs right so for example if i click unpivot columns now you can see all the columns have become this way all the questions are coming in one particular column now i can make sense for example if i select one particular employee right now you can see for adam there are 20 records and for adam first record you can see it is adam's north america real estate my work gives me the sense of accomplishment disagree so now i can make sense of this record so this is perfect now now i can change the column name this is my questions these are my responses all right so now you can go to home and close and load all right so now my table has been created this is what we wanted right so now for each and every employee we have all the responses and with the logical sense now what we have to do is next step is to pivot select this table again click on insert and go to pivot table right so if you had pivoted directly this particular table it would not have made sense right so now if you go back to this pivot click on let's say questions in the rows responses in the column and again in the values so now you have the responses for each and every question you have 20 questions how satisfied are you with the information shared by the stakeholder so there are 139 agrees 111 disagree 85 neutral 111 strongly agree 54 strongly disagree total respondents are 500 because we have 5 employee 500 employees now let us rearrange this strongly agree should come in the beginning so i'll just go to right click move towards the beginning so now we have strongly agree then agree now we want neutral at third level then click on move select move to up now we have strongly agree agree neutral disagree strongly disagree perfect so this is what we wanted now what we can do is we have to make it in percentages percentage of total right so what we can do is we can select this or we can right click summarize value by or show value as we have to select show value as percentage of row total so what we want here we want 111 out of 500 what is my percentage so this is my row total 500 so that is why we want show value as percentage of row total finally we have the percentages for each and every response for each question for all the employees right now what we want is let's remove the decimal so as to make it more readable right 
now we have everything in percentages without decimal now another step can be if we can have the heat map for example if we can understand the pattern which is here so what we can do is select all the elements inside which are the responses and then click on conditional formatting we can select color scales let's say we select this one all right so from this we can understand the heat map through which we can see there are majority of responses in agree column so you can see 31 percent of the people say they are satisfied with the involvement in the key decisions right and then this is also 30 percent where people say that i feel safe while working in the groups 32 percent are saying i have the tools and resources to do my job right so out of 500 people 32 percent people are saying that they have the tools and resources to do their job right? so this is how you can interpret all the details right so now we have all the color conditioning formatting now we want the slicers so as to attain the slicers you have to go to pivot table analyze select insert slicer and then you want region as well as domain so select these two check boxes and click ok now you have domain here all right and region also this is so simple now if you want to analyze the responses for fmcg domain click fmcg now you'll see the patterns have changed if you want for fmcg as for asia let's say then you just select everything then unselect or you just select africa you will get to know fmcg for africa if you want it for asia then select asia you will get to know for asia region for domain fmcg i want to see for automobile let's say you will see in automobile and in asia region 54 percent agree that their employer is strict with the working hours right so you are getting things otherwise if you get this table what kind of inference you can create from this table or what kind of you know uh, information you can gather from this table nothing because this is text right for example even if i select particular name let's say adams i have one row right for adam i get to know that he disagree or he is neutral or he strongly agree or what but what information i can get there is no percentages there is nothing i can't even analyze if europe is doing good or bad africa is doing good or bad if people are against some employer or if they are not against are they more towards strongly agree or strongly disagree nothing can be inferred from this cross table right so our first objective is to convert it into flat table and then finally pivot that to generate this kind of dashboard here we can see the heat map where you can easily pinpoint the things right and you can have further slicers right if you click here you can even get more things for example apart from questions here you want region as well right so for asia it's well itself now you can get like this right if i unselect this right now you can get for africa you can get for asia north america oceania so now you can see for africa 18 percent strongly agree right and then overall if i talk about overall mostly people agree with the responses 25 percent you can say one fourth of the responses are going towards agree right if i you know check the cumulative values for strongly agree and agree that would be 45 percent right and if i include the neutral as well total would be 65 percent so out of everyone most of the people are either neutral or positive towards the responses 
right so this can be one inference out of this so now if i go back to the objective now we understood the use case what is the difference between cross tab and flat file how we can do the data reshaping using power query we understood the purpose of unpivot column when we were on the power query we used the unpivot column so that all the columns are coming there and we can create the flat file we understood why transpose column is not possible in this particular scenario right when i was here i tried to do transpose right this is also not possible then i worked on power uh, then i worked on pivot table so i created pivot and then slicers and then in this only we created the conditional formatting so that we can have the heat map so we have covered all these things and it is very important to understand all the things of power query because if you understand power query itself there are so many things that you can solve all right so i hope this video was useful to you if you want this data set i will attach the data set link on the uh, description as well as in the comments uh, section so you can uh, download and you can practice uh, yourself as well if you liked this video please please uh, subscribe and uh, share across with your friends so that they also get to know about these concepts thanks thanks a lot guys for watching this video